Hi guys, let me check my microphone. Hi guys, good day, good morning, good afternoon from anywhere you are in the part of the world, in any part of the world. My name is Lola. Thanks for coming or stopping by. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for um, coming back. And if you are just new to the channel, my name is Lola. And sorry, I'm trying to. So I'm trying to confirm something from my camera. Okay, yeah. So if you are a new subscriber, um, thank you for coming. And um, my name is Lola, and I film about um, motherhood, um, lifestyle, nursing, leadership. I've not really been doing a lot of those things. I've not even done most of everything i listed or everything i am said to be doing on this channel but very soon i plan to start fully on everything um so yeah um i think this 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 um this post or this vlog is about this is some video sorry it's about nursing and um i just want to talk about nursing like i'm a nurse and um why I chose nursing in case you're thinking of probably changing your career into nursing um, and why I did, how it's been so far um, and um, in case you don't know I currently um, practice in the United Kingdom so but I practice in, the, in Nigeria so in case you're watching from Nigeria and in case um, you're in the UK and you want to change your career to nursing this video is the best for you to provide an insight into um, nursing generally so yeah I'm filming in a car today I, I'm sure you're wondering why I think I'm just taking a break in the car um, my baby is upstairs with my husband my husband is on holiday yeah 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 so <laughs> i'm taking the full time that i need to take i have a lot of things waiting for me to do but i have to please shoot this video because i just said you know what let me quickly do this before i rush to the million or a zillion of things waiting for me so yeah nursing i get asked often or i'm sure a lot of people are asking why nursing why not marketing let me think of other courses I might have done well in mass communication. Um, what other course? Um, maybe banking and finance. <laughs> Who doesn't like money? <laughs> maybe banking and finance. <laughs> I don't know what other course I would have done better um, or I would have gone into. But leaving secondary school, by the way, I went to Wesley College of Science in Ekuro Ibado. If you are a Wesleyan, please give me a shout out <laughs> or just say hello. <laughs> yes, I went to a science school. So by default, if you go to that school, you are a science school. I mean, you are a science student. So is it that you are, you are planning to be a doctor or you are planning to be an engineer or you are planning to be a nurse or you are planning to be... We didn't even have a lot of people thinking of being, being a nurse than... I mean, as compared to thinking of being a doctor or being, being an engineer, I think those were like the two major courses that people were really talking about when we were in school. Yeah, so, um, also, when I was in secondary school, I actually thought I was going to be a doctor. I wanted to be a doctor. I had read books. By the way, I, like, I love reading books a lot. I love books. I love books. So, I'm sure one of these days, probably i would come here and show you some books and do a bit of review um i don't know if you like that just give me a comment if you like that but definitely i will do that so um yeah what was i saying so leaving school i had read books about ben carson i had um i read think big i read um which other book well, I read about Ben Carson, right? And um, sorry, let me lock this car. Right. So I read about Ben Carson, and I actually wanted to be a doctor. I had people that are doctors around me in my church. I had 
there was there was a pastor in my church that that, that in my own church, you know, I attended with my parents. That is a doctor. He's still a doctor now. So it really made it so interesting. I really wanted to be. And then for like other, you know, the videos we see, um, Nollywood, Hollywood, the way doctors just carry themselves. I just love the, you know, the demino. I love the, the, the way they looked, the way they acted, the way they talked, you know. I wasn't even thinking about money. I wasn't, you know, the way we were brought up, the way my parents brought us up, it's not about money, really. We didn't have much. We didn't, it was not as if it was, money was overflowing. But it was more about what do you want to do? What can you offer? Um, what is it that will bring you value to the world? That was the way we were brought up, you know. Um, what is it that would make you, um, you know, just about value majorly? That was how our parents brought us up. My, like, that was how they brought And my, my dad, like, was a proprietor. He had a school. So the major thing they were always telling us then was so that you become some, somebody in life, so that you become somebody. What it even meant to be somebody to them is, you know, you being able to, how do I put my thoughts into words? You've been able to stand for yourself. You've been able to, you know, let me check my mic is working. Yeah. You've been able to stand for yourself. You've been able to um, to say this is what I achieved. You know, integrity was the thing. You don't cheat in exams. You don't bribe your way through. Those were the values we were brought up with, that my parents brought up with. And I'm sure or even other parents around me brought their children up with. You know, that was the way everything was. <laughs> I don't know about the world now, but... <clears throat> that was where we were brought up. So becoming a doctor was not about oh how much they earn. I didn't even have an idea of what they earned. No, my dad like was a proprietor. He's like into teaching line, into education line. My mom is like an entrepreneur. Like she's just like she's like a business person. She's not even into education or anything. So we don't have. And in my family, like my mom's side or my dad's side. There is no doctor. We had no doctor. So there was nobody to say, oh, yes, buy Langba or like, how much, this is how much we get. I had no idea. I just wanted to be a doctor for myself. So fast forward to leaving school. I tried to write jam. It wasn't working and all of that. And as I said, there's a doctor in my um, church. So he had a hospital and he was like, okay, um, I can come around to the hospital. I think I told him I wanted to be a doctor. So I said, I can, so he said, I can come around to the hospital to just, you know, stay around and see how things are done, you know, just to get into that environment, probably for motivation and then for me to like just get my hands on things and um, write my jam again. So that was the aim of going to the hospital. So from there, you know, um, there were like some nurses around and then one of them wanted to, or they were like, um, so one of them wanted to like get admission into School of Nursing. UCH University College Hospital. So the doctor said, "Okay, can I help this person get go to UCH?" Because I was like his aunt person. We were always going everywhere together. So he said, "Okay, I think I'm going to talk about how I don't know if I will talk about it, but it's okay. Like how um how I went to that place. I think don't let me model my thoughts together. Okay. So yeah, we were there, and then he said, "Okay, can I?" get the form for one of the nurses to go to school of nursing uch and i'm like okay why not so um so he sent me an adherent to uch and he was like okay or well, are you do you have interest and i had written jam that year i think i was waiting for my result i think my results came out already i'm not quite sure but my role was good like i think that was like the third jam third jam i was right and it was like a good result so um but he said will you get your own form do you want to like have a backup plan in case okay the jam result had not come so he said do you want to have like a backup plan in case the jam comes out and then you don't really know what it's going to be so I said, okay let me get um school of nursing form so that was how i i didn't even know the way to uch i stayed around um i stayed somewhere around like the outskirts of like very close to lake to lagos um border let me just say that i won't say the exact place i stayed so yeah that was where i grew up and 
so i went to uch i had to ask around where would i get car where would i get um a a where will I get the bus or the public transport to UCH, you know? So uh, people described to me and then I went to UCH to get form for the person and for myself. So the plan was just to have like a backup plan. UCH was not the primary thing I wanted to do. So initially I used to think, I used to say I'm an accidental or not. I just found myself here by accident. But on a, on a clear, on a, on a deeper thought, I don't think it was an accident. It was, it was God's divine steps. It was God. You know ordering your steps sometimes when things are not working i think one of the lessons you can take out of the story is pause and try to see what god is trying to do or what god is trying to say to you so um that is how i went to uch and then we did the exam funny enough myself and this lady were put in the same hall if you know how university college hospital exam is you will know there are a lot of people looking forward to entering the school. There are like thousands of people on the exam day. You know when you're like a, a, a pin in, in the middle of an ocean? That, well, that was the way I saw everybody that day. But I wasn't bothered. I was, I was just there to, you know, write exam and just get out because I wasn't bothered. So I wrote the exam. Myself and the lady were in the same hall. So when the results came out, I was given the... the opportunity to do to go to the interview level the exam is in different stages so i was given the opportunity to go into the interview level but she was not given so i okay so when the results came out i think my job had come out at that time so and i did very well so i, I decided okay let me just finish let me just keep doing both of them and um let me do both of them and see which one works so at this time i was re i was more open to going to, into nursing because i felt like okay let me not just do it because i'm just doing it by the time the result came out and i saw that i did well okay that's like a green light for me to put more energy into it so i was still like planning my post jump and then i was reading for um the interview and the exam as well so you see, in university college of hospital exam is university college hospital nursing exam the way is you do the first exam then if you pass you go to the second stage which is the interview and then the and the um what's it called there is an interview and a theory test on the same day then if you pass that you would be given admission into the school but that doesn't guarantee that you are a full student yet so you will stay for three months and after three months there's something they call winning exam so you do some exams and then if you pass that exam you will go you will continue your studies to the next three months which is like the six month exam so they will wish some people off at three months then after three months they will still do another exam to proceed to six months so at that six months if you succeed at six months that is when you know that okay you will graduate or let me say you will you will finish you are a student let me say you are a full student in the school so but if you do not um if you do not um pass the six month exam you will go back home so there are three different levels of exam it's like that like four different levels i think before you can say okay i'm a nursing student so i did all those exams and i passed them <laughs> so for the first exam so i was given admission i mean i was eventually i was given admission i did the interview and everything but enough for the interview i think i was even fluffing i was like there was one there was one um there was a particular question somebody asked me he said she said where does um the dilation of carbohydrates start from and i think i said stomach and then she was like really your own digestion starts from stomach and you know <laughs> if you know nothing nurses in nigeria especially nursing education you will know that once a lecturer gives you that note it's <laughs> just i don't know what what you should do let me take my mic again okay so that was when i knew that hmm, i have i have i'm blob i'm just blabbing i'm just saying nonsense so i told her that she said i don't think you know what you are doing and at that time I didn't prepare for what I said, but I believed it was the Holy Spirit that gave me that inspiration to say what I said. I told her, I said, you are right. I don't know what I'm doing and that is why I'm here to learn. I don't know if that was the word that saved me. I don't know. But you know what? <laughs> you have many people waiting to be interviewed and you are here blabbing and they are telling you right to your face that 
you, you don't know what you are doing and i looked straight into her eyes and i told her that yes i don't know what i'm doing but i'm here because i want to learn i want to know what i'm doing <laughs> Like, jeez, that confidence. I don't know where it came from. I, I feel like that confidence is coming back to me right now. <laughs> and coming back to school, I discovered that that woman was one of the people that if she says no, it is no. So, yeah. So, like, that was, I don't know if that was what saved me, but I got the admission. I came to school and then nursing started. So, that was how I came into nursing. That was how I passed the exam and then I started my nursing journey. Going through school, I didn't really have a lot of like academics, academic issues. No, I didn't really have any academic issues. I don't do really have. I, I did not. I, it was okay. Um, um, of course, there were a lot of challenges here and there, um, financially, relationship, and all of that. But I did. So, how has nothing been so far? Hmm. Hmm. Mm, especially if you work from Nigeria, if you if probably if you started your nursing journey in the UK, you might have like a nice time. But if you started your nursing in Nigeria, I'm sure your eyes have seen. <laughs> I'm sure your eyes have seen, right? Especially if you had nobody to like, you know, there is no uncle anywhere to call and say, oh, uncle or uh, somebody that will connect you to somebody if you had nobody like that <laughs> you're, 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 we are in the same family so leaving school there was really nothing um to fall back on you ha i had to like i don't want to use the word also but for the lack of better word i had to also my way out i had to like figure things out myself there was no like i said there was no like medical person in my family even if there was there was that was just the way it was there was no backup it was just god so that made me really solely depend on god like if you're not going to do it god there is nobody to do it i solely depended on him to order my steps step steps for whatever i was doing for um for my um what's it called for my job for everything i just you know, definitely I made mistakes. Uh, I, that doesn't mean I didn't make. I, I did make mistakes, but I I knew that I was also holding on to God, and that really deepened my relationship with Him. I loved God. I was. I just wanted to get God at all cost. So um, coming out of school, I got my first job, and um, so at a point when people were like migrating, I think that was. So at some point, people were. People were already like planning to write exams to come to the UK, but for me, I felt like God had not told me. I'm not one of those that just do things because everybody's doing it. No, I believe in the divine guidance of God. I believe that um, if God has took, taken me here, I shouldn't just make any decisions based on money or based on um, comfort. Or based on definitely these things are very important don't get me wrong but i believe they should not be the primary reasons you know if it's just like um when god was leading the children of israel out and then at every stage you saw how god was leading them through the red sea even before they got to the red sea how they even to the food they ate god was in charge of everything so why would they get to a point where they will feel you could remember what happened to them when they got to a point where they feel where they felt like they could figure things out themselves they flopped that was when they made graven image they flopped they did things unimaginable they forgot the gods that brought them out so that was my journey i felt like i um it was unwise for me to like i said that doesn't mean i didn't make mistakes i did but at the back of my mind I knew that God was the one ordering my steps. I was going to depend fully on God. So yeah, that was what happened. And then, okay, I so a lot of people were leaving um, Nigeria, coming to the UK, going to the US, going to Canada. You know, nothing was becoming like, oh, a thing that everybody wanted to do. At that point, I, um, so from what I've told you, from the story I've said, you could you could see that nothing. I didn't come into nothing because oh, 
money is it? I didn't even have a knowledge of what it was. I didn't even have the knowledge of um, this is what nursing is. I just came into nursing because, yes, this is um, because of um, <laughs> thinking about it now. I believe that because at the end of the day, I, I, I <laughs> money to even pay the school fees for nursing school was not there. It was not. The way I paid the school fees was just divine provision. Divine. Let me put it that way. Divine. Divine. I don't, I don't know if I should go into details about that. But I thank God for how it's only through. So, it was not like all the resources were there or it was convenient. No. So, that was when I knew that God's hand was in this thing. For people that don't even know me, people that have not even seen me before, to stand up for me you know to to call somebody to call somebody you know it was just god so yeah um i so when i when i left school i knew that i had to like depend on god to direct me on what to do next so while everybody was writing exams getting their passports and tra planning to travel out all i was planning to do was just further my education so um because there was there was no direction for me to say okay that's that's going abroad i wasn't going to be fantasized or going to be attracted by the comfort or the money or um any other thing i was just about god if god is not asking me to go i was not going to go so i i did, I did, did a couple of exams i did my middle free school exam i passed but i think at that point i couldn't get the money to like further the education so i had to let it go then i was another i did another um i applied to um laotech that's lado lado k akitola university of technology for my nursing and i also applied to obafemi awulowo university for my nursing i got the two admission I got the two admission um so at the point it was the problem of which one should i go for so i went for oau and i started in oau i did well for my exams you know so now i started my degree but my other friends i started traveling out of the country so i didn't um i still did not think it was like a thing for me to consider right so at the point that i come into my mind like you need to start planning to leave the country and i felt like uh, no, no pressure you know you know the, the, the money i paid in oau was not a small money it was not a small money but then there was just this art of that it was just the, that's how it came to my mind to start thinking about you know leaving the country and at that time i was already like almost getting into a, a serious relationship that's my husband now so we're already friends we're close you know but you know when i told him about it and it was like ah you know whatever i think is right is what i should do there was no pressure of okay yeah start planning to travel out both of us just knew that okay whatever god was asking us to do is what we do so yeah there was no pressure at all from anybody so eventually um i wrote the exams um and then here we are and, um you know so nothing so far has been it has been lovely it has been filled with different lessons you know there are opportunities opportunities in a sense that well like i said the global recognition you can you can go to the, like different countries to practice that is one two is that you can uh, it is multidisciplinary in nature in the sense that you can be a nurse like working as a nurse but hardly can you provide holistic care without other professional other professionals you know you have to like team up with other people and I, I think that's one of the reasons why it has like a global recognition so um nothing gives you the opportunity to meet with diverse 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 um to meet with like different people different professionals different um different people from different parts of the world you know and also you can also like um study in different parts of the world you know and there are also like some educational programs some things that can um help you to like develop your professional your profession 
yeah so it's um so that's one of the advantages that's another advantage i've just given another advantage is that um of course financially um i think when i was in nigeria there was a time that somebody needed like a nurse to um to um help him dress his legs he had like a diabetic foot and yes i was there and they were paying me a lot every week yeah so um that was one one of the things i did as well um so um financially i can say a bit yeah and you might not be like so 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 there but you would be at least comfortable to an extent at least you will be able to feed yourself at least so um that i meet yourself but you know <laughs> once you're a nurse especially now that people know the advantages of being a nurse there is a lot of pressure on you you have like family things to take care of you have like a, a lot of things to be responsible for so that's why i would feel that um um it's not really that um there's there's just a lot of pressure on you right so um and i'm talking about then when i was working then so please don't crucify me that eh, I, you don't know the way things are now please i'm talking about then you know and i'm talking about yourself i'm not talking about talking in terms of the entire thing you have to like take care of i'm talking about yourself so disclaimer please don't come for me <laughs> so yeah nothing nothing also what 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 other advantage also like you know the satisfaction when you provide care to people and you see them get well somebody comes to the hospital or comes to wherever setting and then they look tired or they are injured or they are they are sad or they are not happy something is away from the normal and then they leave the hospital happy they leave the hospital joyful they leave the hospital well that alone is not satisfaction so yeah um that's one of the things that um i also enjoy you know and definitely now nothing is beyond just taking care of people there are like we have telemedicine in which we have um, nothing as well we have um we have what's it called we have like different um i think that's another advantage we have like different um um, um what's it called what's it called um diversification of nursing we have midwifery we have perioperative nursing that's like the theater nursing we have um what uh, or what other one um, 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 um why is it not coming to my head now we have education you want to go into education we have um um these ones that work in the in this um professional setting um what are they called what are they called these ones that work in like companies and all um what do they call them i remember I remember um yeah so those ones then we also have like um we have like those that work in the social care you know that work in the community um we also have like not um in 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 nigeria it was it's a bit limited because at the end of the day we have emergency nursing we want to go into emergency we have child um pediatric nursing we have um yeah i remember occupational health nursing so those ones they get like they 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 don't work in the clinical setting but majorly they work in like the um they work in the companies so you you see them in shell you see them in chevron you see them in um exxon mobil you see them in all these big companies you know just provide um first aid before they are moved to like um a greater to a bigger space you know we have um health uh, management organizations recruiting nurses um so that um we can give information over the phone about okay, which hospital should they go and case management you know there are, there are nothing is wide it is wide and that is just nigeria that i'm thinking about in the uk there are you have millions and we, you know, let me not say millions but you have like a lot of diversification that you can venture into so that's just that's just one of the things you have to consider in nursing there are a lot of things that can pick your interest you know um you're not just okay this is what i must do and then it's just that no if you are clinically inclined you want like you are in the clinic all the time you are in the hospital and all of that there is a type there is a space for you if all you want to do is office work there's a space for you 
you know if you want to work in the community setting there is a space for you so yeah you can consider that as well so so what are the disadvantages or what are the downsides of being a nurse one is you are almost every time tired you are almost always tired tired <laughs> like big time tired because especially here in the uk where you most people work for like long days most people work for like 12 hours in a day you work for 12 hours and then you can't get home and that's the time you want to be gisting with your friends or the time you can't even think about yourself you are just thinking about what should i eat i want to sleep and then off to pick another shift you know um that is in the uk nigeria also there is the work overload is now so much according to what i heard so yeah it's everywhere the load the workload of nurses all over the world is much so we are always almost every time tired and also we are underpaid we are not paid according to most nurses are underpaid let me say most nurses please most nurses are underpaid most nurses are not paid according to what they do um you know there is all these strike actions going on in in the uk now amongst the nhs um because of money you know even in nigeria don't even let me tell you about my first salary or the salary i had before i came to the uk don't even let us talk about it you know um the the money is just it's just especially if we are working in a private setting in, in nigeria <laughs> that one is even out of the world don't even don't even talk about it you know that's why most people are not really really keen about working in private setting and in, in certain locations i don't want to say more than that please don't come for me so yeah um nursing is i don't think we are paid enough i don't think so then um another thing is another thing i would like to talk about is um what are the downsides again um so sometimes there can especially in nigeria there might just be some issue of um professional itches friction going on between people in the hospital you know doctors and nurses nurses and this and that that one is just whatever you know um so i think those are the, like and then socially sometimes we are not really social that's why you see people here in the uk any little time like this especially in the summer they want to go out they want to go to this holiday they want to do because by the time you come back from your 12 hour shift let's talk about it 12 hour shift you are going for another shift tomorrow because there are bills waiting for you to for you to settle you have a lot of things that you are responsible for you have shifts to pick by the time you're coming back from 12 hours that's not the time you want to be gisting with your friends that's not the time you want to say okay tomorrow i want to quickly get to london to see to see what's going on out there that is not the time you are saying okay i want to i want to take care of myself you're not even thinking about yourself you're not you don't even have time for yourself Oh, you are just thinking about pitch shift. You don't want to make mistakes at work. So your head is always almost working all the time. So socially, sometimes we lose our friends. That's one of the downsides. We sometimes we lose our friends. And even in another nurse that is your friend is also at work. So if you want to, like for instance, if you are planning a wedding or you're planning a birthday, you should have told people ahead, 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 so that they will plan their time so that they will probably take a leave or probably take a holiday or take a off you know if <laughs> you have a nurse in your circle and they are like trying to show up for you and you feel they are not doing enough please just take them that way it's 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 draining it's draining another thing i will another disadvantage is sometimes mentally we are low sometimes our mental health needs to be checked all the time let me check my mic so mentally sometimes we are low because you're like what's going on around me what's this what's that like you are just too programmed to work everything about you is just work 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 so mentally sometimes we are not always like there you know um so i think um those are like the ones i can talk about now and um definitely i would like show some other videos about nursing if you have any question or anything you would like to know about nursing you can put it in the comment section i will i will check them but i have some videos already that i'm trying to like edit about practicing in the uk you know I've, i i was I, I was talking with some of my friends about okay about i was talking to, with two of my friends one of them is i spent a lot of time in the uk so um 
he was telling us about um how you practice you know what you do what you expect and all of that and then i'm i think i'm going to also going to do another video about culture shock here in the uk like when you come to the uk the things that you know you should not be a surprise to you anymore you know that might surprise you but should not be a surprise to you anymore that you should expect you know in anticipation so yeah nothing is interesting it's fun but at the same time i mean it's fun if you really put your heart in it some people that i think i'm just talking from my own perspective yeah some people are just here to just, just collect the money and to just go i mean that's for them but for for my own um from my own perspective nothing is fun nothing is interesting nothing is beautiful like I, have you seen nurses <laughs> they are built even though <laughs> we don't always have time for our, we don't have time for pedicure manicure all the time we do sometimes but we don't have all the time but yeah but i think it's interesting i think it is um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this story 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 <laughs> and i hope if you are planning to be a nurse i think this should be like an encouragement for you please don't don't leave that dream of being a nurse it's it's a beautiful one the world is waiting for you you know i think i've talked for a very long time i hope this video is not long i pray so yeah thank you so much for watching if you watch this video without subscribing why why subscribe please <laughs> please in case you are watching the video and are looking everywhere i just want to be security conscious you know because i'm outside and in the car and it's raining now so yeah i'm just being security conscious so please subscribe to my youtube channel give me a thumbs up please you know thumbs up would increase my visibility you know um and i will see you in the next one thank you so much bye